Good morning. Today we're going to talk about the image adjustments assignment. And to give you a brief overview, I give you the balloon, I give you the parrot, I give you the flowers, and you're going to come up here into the image adjustments category, and we're going to make some changes to the originals. So this is just to give you an idea what it looks like. Let's go file new 11 by eight and a half. I double click on the word background. I hit OK. I'm going to come in here and paint my background black. All right. So the first thing I do is file. Place embedded. OK, and I have given you the. Items you need in the folder. I'm going to my image adjustments folder here. And I'm going to get the balloon. And I'm going to drag. Whoops, I don't want it bigger. In fact, we're going to make it smaller first. OK, I'm going to put it up here in the corner. You can see my balloon. Then I'm going to go File, Place, Embed it again. And this time I'm going to get the parrot. And we're going to put the macaw parrot under the balloon. And hit move tool to set it and file place embedded. And we got our Skagit Valley flowers. All right. I want to go back and put stroke on everyone. So I'm going to come here to the layer menu and hit stroke and something that'll show on the background actually I'm not going to do that okay I didn't put it on those all right we're just going to put it on the bottom two layers so we're going to put whoops double click out here put stroke there And then we'll do it again on the Skagit Valley. All right. And on this Skagit Valley one, I want to make it a little bit taller. In fact, I want to make both of these a little taller. So I'm going to go back to, this, to the macaw. I'm going to come up here to Edit, Transform, Distort. Now I can... Clear one way. Same thing. I'm going to go here to Skagit Valley, edit, transform, distort. And we're going to make it taller. Come on, get it straight. And hit the move tool, and that's a little crooked, but it's okay. All right, so we want to leave a little bit of room under each one. So I'm going to scoop my balloon up a little bit. And maybe over a touch. The parrot, I'm going to scoot up a little and over a touch. And by the way, if you ever want to use a grid, you can go up here to View, Show, Grid. So that helps you line things up. Uh, Skagit, Control T. Let's shrink this a little. That's better. Okay. So I can see I've got them lined up pretty close. I can now shut, turn off my grid. View show grid. All right. Now I'm going to group these three layers by clicking on the folder down here at the bottom. Here's my group. I'm going to slide them up into the group like so. And I'm going to close the group. And I'm going to duplicate the group. And I'm going to slide it over with the arrow keys. And then I'm going to duplicate that group. 
and slide it over. And I'll duplicate that group and slide it over. And one more time, duplicate the group, slide it over, and then we'll start adjusting backwards. Okay, so I want to keep it up. All right, so we got to go back to this one. We need to close down our spacing. So I've selected the middle group now. It's closing down the spacing. Okay, and I still need to move these two a little more. Maybe this one over a touch. Middle one a little bit. Yeah, I'm obsessed. All right, close enough. So here's our five groups. So right now I'm going to start group. I'm going to start working in group one. If I want to, I can turn off these other groups for now. I'm going to open up group one, and I'm going to work on the balloon. If I go back and look at my, okay, so first row is original. So I'm not going to change these images at all, which means I can go in and grab my text. Oops. Click once and type in original. And I'm going to make it a little bigger so I can see it easier. Whoops, move tool to set it. Okay, so I did put original in all three, so I can come in here and go duplicate the layer. Hit OK. Down arrow, slide it down. And duplicate that one. Hit OK. Down arrow, slide it down. All right. So my first group is done. I can close the group. Whoops. I want to make sure I put the text in there with those. Go slide up the text into the group. Close the group and you're done with that one. Turn that group off. Turn this group on. Let's open them up and we start with the balloon. I'm going to go back and look at my rubric. Okay, so it says change the hue. So I'm going to come up here in this balloon layer. I'm going to mess with this. Go image, adjustments, hue, and saturation. And watch what happens when I change the hue. Just a little bit. I hit OK. I grab the text tool. I type in the word hue. Oops, wrong layer. I want my hue layer. And control T to make it a little bigger. Okay. So I can see the next one is vibrance. So I'm going to go right across the balloon row right now. So group the first copy, this one right here, we're going to close that. I'm going to open this one. Go to the balloon. Turn this one off. Turn this one off. Okay, I'm going to go to this balloon. And I'm going to go vibrance. So, image, adjustment, vibrance. Okay. 
and you adjust it any way you want. Grab your text tool, type in the word vibrance, hit enter, hit control T to make it a little bigger. Okay, I'm going to set it. There's my, all right, now I can go control T. Grab the wrong layer again. All right, now we got the right layer. So there's vibrance for that row. And before I lose it at this point, I'm going to go file, save as, save on this computer. You guys are saving to your student folder. I'm saving to my folders. So yours will go to portal, your student folder. And I'm saving it in my student folder in the proper folder. All right, so that gives you an idea of what to do on the top row. So I'll, I'll let you finish the other two. Okay, so now we're going to go to the parrot, to the macaw. And I want to do some work on him. So I'm going to go to, your, to my copy and open up the macaw, and we're going to go control plus. And what I want to do this with the parrot is to use the magic wand tool. And if you look back at my original, so now I want to color just certain areas. So I want to color just his head. So I click there and I get a little tiny area. So I know this is the add to. If I roll over it, it tells me that's my add to selection. So I can increase my tolerance a little, make it a little bit bigger. And that's a little closer. Oops, that's too big. Control Z. Okay, so I want to get it just a little bit further down. If you look at my original one, I want to get down a little bit. I want to get down into here. So now I'm going to turn the tolerance back down so that I can go in smaller increments. And I'm just clicking and opening it up too much. I'm just clicking and opening it up. And you know what? I will take that. So now I go up to image adjustments, hue and saturation. And I hit OK. And now I want to do the same kind of thing. Down here, I want to give him some more green down here. So same kind of principle. Just keep opening it up till you get the desired area you want to turn green. And remember, you can mess with the tolerance. So I keep adding, keep adding, keep adding till I get out to the edge. And I want to add down a little bit this way. So I just keep clicking over the area and driving that little dotted line down. And that's good enough for me. Image adjustments. Hue and saturation. And for some reason, it's still on the bird's head. Cancel this. 